I make videos because I want to share with you some feminine wisdom, the wisdom of feminine energy. And especially I base everything around Jesus Christ. So what I'm going to tell you is very, very shortcut. It is being told that there is no shortcut to success, but there is, there is there is <laughs> if you know the way then there is a shortcut if you don't know the way then who knows <laughs> anyway so what i want to share with you is something about seduction as competition is very manly thing you see in the jungle the men and male animal are working through competition alpha <laughs> and uh, there is other science that is most developed in human being where feminine is has attained their greatest potential so this seduction and what i'm going to share with you it is based on one teaching of jesus christ that someone sows and someone else reaps if you yourself sow something and if you your yourself is going to reap it then comes the competition it is a straight path but imagine someone else has done this, uh, made this field fertile and has sown the seed into it and you are there just to get it. You are there to just to, to, to receive it. Then it is the shortcut and you can attend it. Not by the path of competition. The path of competition is the path of force. So there is another path. That, that is the path of seduction. This is the feminine path. But uh, many of us believe that seduction is not good. And really it is not good most of the time. But there is something about seduction because the business that you see in this world, it is about mostly about seduction. Because you don't know it is 2020. In 2021, you will get to know name of a new brand new company that you have never heard how such company in just one year can attain such success how how do they do it because in many brand we we see this name since 1920 since 1820 since 200 years old brand but some company is made just in one year two year or even few months and they attend the success at once. How? Not by competition they do it. Nobody can do it. In compare to the trust that is being built by the company that is made by hundreds of years, how can something new reach to such quick success? Like uh, Peter is a fisherman who is trying to catch the fish and he's working very hard to catch the fish and he got negligible fish. But then Jesus comes and Jesus asks him to put his net at a specific place. And when he puts there, he gets so much of fish that his, his net gets torn apart. So what is it? It is a shortcut. And it is, this business is about seduction. To increase the market size so many times, we seduce our customers. Sedu seduction is not just sexual thing, but it, it happens that uh, some kind of seduction happens that is never, uh, that who have, uh, for the people who have never used our product or our service, who doesn't know us, like to Peter, Jesus is something new. So there is some signs of seduction here to increase the market share. Uh, m many times we seduce our customers away from the competition and why we do it because we want to distract them or draw them out of the competition out of the hustle of day-to-day -day life and uh, if we don't do it we are unable to get it now I tell you something one parable to make things clear and easy there was a guy who was told that if you he was sitting somewhere and there was a dead mouse or rat there 
and somebody he wanted to do something great in his life then somebody told him that you know a real businessman can earn money through this dead rat kept over there and now this guy took it literally this advice he took that dead rat in his hand and he was he he believed in it he believed in it you see we don't believe many of us don't believe in even scripture we many of us don't believe in the words of the christ but there are few people who have such a fertile soul that they are so easy to believe they they go into believing in their success and they attain it so such is the story of this is this guy this man this gentleman who took that dead rat in his hand and he believed that he is going to to do the business through this dead rat and but he didn't know what he could do with this rat that was kept there dead then he remembered what jesus says said no one keeps the light or the lamp under the cot so he took his asset in his hand and went out and he was just thinking and wondering what he could do with it then he saw that a cat gets attracted to that rat and then the owner of that cat told to the guy give my cat your rat and i i will give you one copper coin so from there the story starts and then there is a series of story that how this guy then uses that one coin to do another thing and another thing and then finally he becomes rich so the series starts in this way and how he earned his first earning through dead rat he did by the part of seduction and seduction what i'm telling you is not just sexual thing but it is based on this thing that you can use it for your spiritual purpose if you have anything good in you bring it out bring it out and some it will attract something in somebody because what this little guy this gentleman not a little guy but this gentleman realized that as long he was carrying that that rat in his hand and he didn't know how could he do the business with it but by the power of seduction by the power of attracting by power of sowing off of his asset he attracted a cat and then he earned the money and what he realized that as long as there is hunger in this world there is always the way and jesus says i am the bread you see hunger and the bread that satisfy you so from there the journey starts hunger and if you have the food so the food and then from this business this material context i lead you to the spiritual because every hunger this physical this sexual hunger nothing can satisfy us we will get hungry again that's why jesus has given a great teaching that i'm the bread and things go spiritual there things go very pure and sacred there things go beyond seduction to spirit there but just uh, to to give you one spark of hope in the life that competition is the force is not the way the way we force ourselves for the success is not the way if you have anything uh, great in your life bring it out so it uh, to the world give it to world and even if you have a dead rat with you bring it out there is some cat waiting for you <laughs> and you will get the copper coin and after that you can do what you can you want to do so maybe my video is a dead rat <laughs> but there must be some cat whose hunger it will satisfy and the honor of that that cat will give me some coin <laughs> a thumbs up and i will be happy with it <laughs> and then i can make more videos and then i can grow myself this is what happens if you have anything good in you don't keep it under the under the cot bring it out you like it uh, become like the lamp on a tower <laughs> so your light to the world you have you are amazing you are beautiful you are uh, you are made in image of of divine love 
So share your love, <laughs> share your asset. Nothing is bad about you, everything is great and amazing about you. And I believe in you. <laughs> I thank you for being here. May God bless you.